self-confidence and to boost your confidence. Today in this episode, let's talk about self-esteem help if necessary, if you need, if you feel that you need to to lift your self-esteem to get the life that you want. And maybe you're having a hard time dealing with adversity. And I'm going to share a few words with you that I use in meditation from the Course in Miracles workbook. But you know, the finest method that I have found to boost confidence is learning reflection principles and taking small risks. And when it comes time for dealing with adversity, then you'll be fine. Hey everyone, James Nussbaumer, and thanks for joining me with another episode of for an Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And by the way, keep in mind in the description area down below is a link to the, it's called the Dreams to Reality link. It's a free ebook uh, that you can download directly to your inbox. It's accessed through my SAFE website. I hope that you'll take advantage of what this ebook has to offer. It's all about how to use reflection principles for manifestation reasons, to get the life you want, create the life you want, dealing with adversity, and these kinds of things. But keep in mind always that no matter what your income level is or, or what career level you're at or your education level, whether you're big, tall, short, you know, you need to lose weight, need to do better in relationships, or whatever the case may be that you're struggling against, you will get the life that you want by being the real you. Yes. You can read more on that, on how manifestation principles, learning them to get the life you want is so helpful for prosperity and abundance in your life. And there's a detailed blog article that I'd written, and the article to that is also in the, the link to the article is also in the description area down below too. You might have to click on show more to expand that area here on YouTube open a little bit. But when you crash and feel as though you need to burst your confidence to to get the life you want or to start turning things around. It is typically since, you know, your day-to-day -day plan of life is not really consisted of enough self-confidence triggering food for thoughts. Sometimes our self-confidence is unstable as an outcome of a some kind of a shift that we went through or a loss or a single occurrence of, of you know, some shift in our way of doing things, maybe on the job or maybe a problem in the household, you know, maybe missing out on a due date or getting a bad hairstyle even, or spilling coffee on yourself, you know, and getting, getting it all over your important papers. But, you know, keeping at your immediate reach a group of, say, CDs and videos, books, DVDs, self-help, other content, books, hey, even my books, you know, my blog, hey, I'd love you to have my books in your home or office, but you know, keep a library for yourself of these things that make you feel comfortable and help you to keep your life turned around. You know, for yourself, listen and learn from within yourself every day. Likewise, you know, when you do that, it requires you to set time every day for reflection. It's what I do every morning, first thing before I start my day. But I will use these words from the Course in Miracles workbook when I feel a lack of confidence, when I feel I need a boost in confidence, I will use these, these words borrowed from the Course in Miracles, and they go like this. I am affected in this world only by my thoughts. And I'll repeat that, but before I do, let me say that I, let me note that I have, I have noted these words in the description area down below as well, so you can jot them down later for your own personal use. You can use them as use this as an affirmation or a short prayer or a quick meditation. In the words again from the Course in Miracles workbook go like this. I am affected in this world only by my thoughts. Practice reflection principles. By practicing reflection principles can lend some self-esteem help and assist you to strengthen what you understand is you think you might understand it's going on within you, but you can't seem to correct the issue, you know, to get your life back on track to where you're feeling good about yourself. I hope this was some good food for thought for you. And please, if it was, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I like to always add, I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life and all the, the natural beauty that's within you and the natural awesomeness that you need to learn to extend to your material world. And that's what reflection principles are all about reflecting the inner beauty to your material world and making a wonderful life situation for yourself. I wish the best for you in life and love. And as always, until next time, God bless.